on doing more than just one this year so far. This will be two, but just didn't get around to doing it. Because I had to find some spots to, you know, get a motorcycle in and out of, first of all. Then there was chances of rains and, you know, more excuses. But no chance of rain today or tomorrow for now. So that is the plan. So I'm going to try to stuff everything I can onto my bike and then ride it one hour and 25 minutes away and set up a camp at a place I've never been to. I don't mind to ride on some gravel or bad roads, don't get me wrong. But I don't want like a 10 mile long road with huge gravel and potholes everywhere or something you know, too ridiculous. But, but yeah, I got to go get the motorcycle. Stuff everything in it and on it. Probably round up 10 bungee cords because I really don't want to lose anything. And I'm trying to be as minimal as I can, but I gotta fit that tent on there somewhere because I have not camped in a tent since I was a child. I think. No, no. I stayed in a tent one other time in my 20s. But it rained and the tent was too small so my head touched one side my feet touched the other and they both got wet so i said well i remember why i don't tent camp anymore so i ditched that but i'm looking to do some different things for the channel so that's the goal we'll see how that works
All right, found a spot. Got a very large fire pit. You can tell compared to like my foot, it's pretty big. And my little stream. So this place is called Lower Glady Dispersed Camping. And it's free, but there's no power, no nothing, so down for that. Mm, can't tell, but there's some smoke over there is the closest neighbor we got. And there's some neighbors way down here on this side of the road. The dog uh, barking, if you can hear that or not, but eh, still not bad. Tents up, and I'm burning up. So switching into some shorts and firewood search. Shorts mode engaged. So I'm gonna go back here and try to find some firewood. Get a fire going here. This time I'd really like to eat before uh, pitch dark. Whether that's going to happen or not, I'm not sure. Uh, but I hope. Alright, so there's no cooking grate. Couldn't fit mine on there, so just gonna kinda try to burn this stuff down and get it hot enough off to the side maybe. This is probably gonna be terrible, but I'm gonna try it anyways. So the water's boiling pretty good. I'm gonna try uh, whatever, I don't know. Well Rana. Spinach and cheese sounded pretty good. So it's family size, but like that's not like I could definitely get that whole thing right to myself. So yeah, I'm gonna get down there and uh, see how long it takes out to cook. No, oh, yeah. tortellini is done. Maybe overdone. I don't know. I'm gonna get that off and get that drain there for sure. All right. So while I wait for the skillet to get hot, I'm gonna throw this in with the tortellini. I've never had this. I've seen a lot of people use it. Rails, Rayos, I don't know. It's like seven bucks for that jar, so it better be good. Hmm, smells really good. So we'll throw that in there. Kind of let that start warming up with the pasta. That skillet is good and hot, so it ain't gonna take the sausage very long to cook. So we're going with Johnsonville, mild, because that's really all the store had. But I've had it before, it's pretty good. Oh, gotta get the paper off. Oh no, it's not coming off. Oh, I'm gonna burn myself. Too hot to touch for sure. Tell you what, 
that Rachel Ray, she makes a pretty solid skillet. Kind of looks like a disaster, but I'm sure it'll taste just fine. So I've been looking for another good excuse to use this Dano's cheesing. I think it's going to be pretty good in there. And it's really going to hurt to add a bunch. Try that much, see how that goes. So in case you're wondering where my handle went, apparently it got too hot. I tried to pick it up and about dropped the pot, so now it's over there. But... <sighs> That's what I get for not using like cast iron. Well, I don't, I don't know what that was about. I don't remember putting like a spray paint can in there, but uh, that about took me out. So now we're going to do some cheese. Five cheese blend. Mozzarella, smoked provolone, Asiago, Parmesan, and Romano. That's all at once. That was terrible, I don't think. cheese all over myself until pretty hot I think it should melt the cheese a little bit mm-hmm solid and that cheese is really good Almost went like straight parm. I thought maybe like a, a blend would be better. Pretty glad I did that. That was tasty. Something there was kind of salty. I don't know if it's like the cheese, I'm guessing probably. I completely forgot. <clears throat> I have hot sauce to try with this. That'll do it. D A T L do it. That'll. Red Serrano. Extra hot peppery flavor. From St. Augustine, Florida. I don't know. It doesn't have like the like a heat rating or anything. It just says extra hot, so. Should be pretty intense, right? It doesn't smell that intense. It kind of smells like. Like Louisiana or like Franks or something maybe. Yeah, that's not that hot. But that has a really good flavor. And it doesn't have a little stopper thing, so I'm gonna put way too much on there. Easy. Mm, that's a really good flavor though. I like that. Definitely not what I would call extra hot. That's really good on there though. Give it just that little extra kick. Well, getting pretty full pretty quickly. <sighs> Didn't need that much pasta. I'm 
so, so much of that left. I definitely talked a little trash about family size. That's not family size. I need that in like two settings. I don't know. But that was tasty. And for not even having it cooking great, it went pretty well. Just for like setting the pot right on the fire. All right, well, I'm gonna let that digest for a minute. And then I have a new beer to try. And this is a good one. You're gonna love it. Listen, I know I'm not gonna like this. I know that. I could not help buying this beer. It was $12.50 for six of them. Dewclaw Brewing Company, Sour Me, Unicorn Farts. You see that, right? Glittered Sour Ale. Ale brewed with fruity cereal and edible glitter. How could I not get it? I want you to see the glitter though. I don't have a cup. Paper plate. There's no glitter in there. Is I supposed to shake it? Surely not. Sparkles may settle, swirl, or gently invert before pouring. Why don't I think of that? So now I just have a paper plate of beer. That is not bad. It's not bad at all. That's like a good sour ale. I like that. Oh, no. Okay. Shouldn't have swirled after I opened it. I just plug the hole and tip it. Then dump it on myself. I just want to see some glitter. Um, I think they forgot to glitter this can. I mean, you just saw me shake that. Well, invert it, whatever you want to call it. That's not glittery. Try it one more time, I guess. Five point five percent. Craft be cherished, rules be damned. Bug in my face. I don't know where the glitter's like at. I want to see the glitter. If it didn't say glitter, I wouldn't have even got it. I for sure got ripped off. Still, not one sparkle of glitter unless it's really, f okay, wait a minute, hang on. Maybe if I hit certain lights, it'll glitter, you're not going to be able to see that. Like with the naked eye, I can just see like tiny little bits. I don't know. I don't know. It's not the glitter I was expecting. Also, wasn't expecting to drink beer off a paper plate. Hmm. Yep, that's disappointing. But regardless, it's not bad at all. Like, I don't mind a sour ale. So I didn't think I'd hate it completely. I just didn't think I'd like it too much. <clears throat> Baltimore MD. So not real far from here. 
Pony up for a taste of this glittered sour ale brewed with a trio of fruits, fruity cereal, and a swirl of edible glitter. Fantastical collaboration between Duclaw Brewing Company and Diablo Donuts based on their famous Unicorn Farts Donut. I've never heard of a Unicorn Fart Donut, but I'm sure it's just glittery. I don't know. I mean, I guess if the glitter was big, it'd like probably feel weird in your mouth. Oh, I'm going to give it an 8.8. Eight. I don't know. I'd get it again for sure. It's pretty much that gone. Fire's burning all right. Don't have a chair. Because uh, I just assumed there would be like rocks nearby or a picnic table or something. So I'm just going to slide up a rock and pop a squat and enjoy that fire for a little bit, I think. Wakey, wakey, hands off snaky. <sighs> I do not want to get up. Slept so much better than I thought I would. I thought for sure I'd burn up in here, but it's not too bad. But uh, it's about time for a coffee, I think. Mike's still here. That's plus. All right. So the new coffee this week is another Duncan. It's just like that little weird skinny Duncan can I had a couple weeks ago that was like um, coffee cake something. Coffee cake, cake, cupcake. I don't know. Whatever that was, this is like similar. Because I saw that one sitting right beside this one in the gas station. Brownie batter donut. I don't know why I do this to myself. I know it's not gonna be good. I'm gonna try it anyways. <laughs> Cause the last one was like weird and too sweet and I don't know. Just wasn't a fan. It's an old smell. Kind of smells like dirt. I don't. I assume they have a brownie battered donut. So if I'd ever tasted that from Dunkin', it would probably make more sense. It's definitely better than the coffee cake one. Not by much. Rich plus chocolatey taste. Yeah, it's like all chocolate. Almost like a dark chocolate taste. I don't know. Like it's oh, better. Still not not my favorite. Yeah, I wouldn't get it again. I'd drink it again, but I wouldn't go buy it. For me, something that I wouldn't go buy again, but I would drink is like a four-ish or so, four point eight. Yeah, I'm going four point eight. For me, it's got to be in the fives before I'd really go like get it again, and that's only if like there was nothing else. But I wouldn't even do that with this. Probably just drink like water or something. But eh, somebody handed it to me, and it's all I had. I would drink it. I don't know. I don't think I like Dunkin' Iced Coffee Bakery series. But got to break that tent down, which is like an instant thing, so it just kind of pops up. I mean. As you already saw if you're watching that part but the legs just kind of snap together so i just got to push some little buttons and pop it apart and fold it up and get all the air out of that mattress and put it back on the bike and yeah it's kind of a little job so see if we can do that again
Wow, that was awful. I don't remember how to fold it back up. That can't be right. Well, somehow I got the tent in the bag. Correctly? No. But it's in there. Strap down. Nice and tight. Don't appear to be forgetting anything. So yeah. It is violently humid already. Definitely have some leftovers to eat. Because that was a family size of tortellini. Didn't want to get a family size, but that's just what it was. It was that or a small bag of ravioli, and I didn't want ravioli, so. But it turned out pretty good, even for nothing to cook on. I mean, had to sit them right on the fire. We'll lose a pot handle over it, but, eh, it's an old pot, it'll be all right. I need to get some good, like, either just cast iron or, like, a pot with a metal handle. I thought it turned out all right. Pretty easy and uh, filling camp meal. And it all fit in like a little cooler that I just stuffed right in my saddlebag, so it didn't take up a whole lot of room. A buddy of mine, TJ, if you're watching, TJ, has told me about this place before. I think he usually comes like once or twice a summer in camps. He's invited me with him a couple times, and I never get to make it, so pretty glad I got down here. It's not a bad spot at all. I'm burning up, so I'm going to head out, but tune in next time because there will definitely be a video next week and uh, see where else we can go and what we can get into. But for now, thanks for watching.